Hi there guys, welcome to this tutorial about using Chroma Key in Adobe Premiere. Um, when you first start up Premiere, you're going to have the uh, edit screen available. This is the edit format. And uh, what you have here is you have your uh, project area, you have your timeline down here with all your info down here, your effects and your history. And this is your viewport here so you can see what you are uh, working on. Now to start off, I'm going to um, import two videos that I have. And you can actually download these uh, as uh, part of the uh, jdhideas.com slash ITT part. And I'll uh, put a link in the sidebar so you guys can have this. I'm going to put in the uh, FG7 video and this one right here. Okay. Now these are both uh, royalty free, free videos that I downloaded off of the web. So uh, these are okay to use. And press OK. And you're going to see these uh, two movies pop up here in the side. So I'm going to drag my the uh, video that I want to uh, chroma key on the very top layer, okay? And the background layer I'm gonna put down here onto uh, video one. Now, there's not any audio in these videos, so I just have the whole thing uh, basically expanded out and then the audio is kind of hidden, okay? So don't forget that you can actually uh, uh, view more areas by uh, scrubbing this uh, top bar. So as you scrub more, your uh, videos get uh, smaller. As you, as you scrub closer together, your uh, videos get larger and you can see less timeline but more of the video okay i'm going to move this over here because this kid what this video is is it's a video of the uh, bbc motion gallery and it's of the uh of the moon landing and halfway through i'm going to have this uh, little kid basically run through just like that okay now you notice that this video here is actually uh rotated 90 degrees so let's pick the video and let's zoom out for first and if you actually navigate outside of the area, you'll get this little uh, rotation icon. When you click and drag, you can rotate this video to the way that you want it. Let's go about right there. So it's about zero degrees. And we'll expand it so that the uh, chroma key fills up the entire viewport area. So there we go. And for, let's uh, scrub back to over here. And for this video here, I wanna expand this so that, it, so that this covers up the entire viewport as well both of these videos will be able to be seen fully okay there we go and as you as you play this you're gonna see the uh, the lunar shuttle and this kid is kind of running through all right now to get rid of the green screen we have to change to our effect layout and the way you do that is you want to go down to window go to your workspace and you want to go to effects this is going to automatically open up your effects palette along with your effects controls and it'll put your effects right up here where you can see everything. Now to add your chroma key, you want to go into video effects and about halfway down is your keying uh, folder. And in your keying folder, you want to go to the chroma key effect. To apply this effect, you want to drag this, click and drag, down to the layer that you want to apply it to. So when you do that, just drag that, and you'll see the uh, chroma key icon um, pop up here, and this little effect button here. Now if you turn this effect off, that this effect will no longer be uh, relevant, so you want to keep this on the whole time. Beside it is this white triangle, and if you click that, you can see all, all of the uh, chroma key parts. Now, by default, the color that you were chroma keying is white, but we want to change that to this green over here. And this green here is kind of dark, so I want to choose a medium tone that I see. So if I press my eyedropper tool, I'm going to choose probably this green because it's right in the middle of everything. Once I do that, I can see that it's already starting to work here, but not really effectively. If I go down one more, I can choose my similarity. And if I click and drag on that, I can scrub that out. And I'm going to choose more similarity there. Let me zoom in so you can see more of uh, what I'm doing there. All right. You still see a little bit of the green around him. So let's see if we can buff that up some more. There we go. That's looking pretty good right there. About 17. How about the blends? Let's see if we can do that. See, now he's starting to, uh, to uh, disappear. So let's do it until he begins to disappear. About right there. This looks pretty good. Let's, sc let's uh, scrub some more and see how he looks whenever he comes, uh, comes closer looking pretty good all right let me zoom out there and let me scrub back in time to my zero frame when I play this I have the BBC motion gallery 
with a kid running through. Not a, not a, not a bad deal. So let's actually go over here and toward the middle of that of the, of the chroma key, let's move this child downward so he looks more realistic. So he's kind of at height with the ground. Let's go back there, play this again. Now he looks real, okay? So I can scrub this back and forth and see exactly where he is. All right, and that is the basics of uh, chroma key. Just, just uh, don't forget that whenever you use chroma key, you want to choose a mid-tone green or a blue, which whichever background it is. Typically, whenever you shoot film or if you download things off of the web, it will be a green screen. Uh, blue is not used much anymore, so uh, green is the most uh, common thing there. Okay, and that's the basics of a uh, chroma key. Thank you.